Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is what I call a Tinker Log Cabin. Friends, I've got a starter project that you can launch, and then I'm going to show you how to build your own log cabin. So let's get cracking. Friends, the link to this page will be in the description of the video. Once you click that, you can hit copy and tinker, and boom, you will be in the project that we're all going to use. If you have not used Tinkercad before, I suggest you use sign in, and then choose sign in with Google, and you'll be ready to roll immediately. Alrighty, friends, so you can see Tinker logs are kind of like Lincoln logs, and I've already built the first one for you, and now let's use some amazing skills to make this build up really fast click the back log and then hit Control d which is duplicate and then here's the magic one Control up arrow lets you raise them up without touching anything else i'm going to grab this one do the same Control d and then Control up arrow twice to raise it up as well i'm going to take the two in the back and i'm going to grab them give it a Control d and then I'm going to use that arrow key to simply pull them out to the front, just like they would be. So now I've got the entire first two layers in very few clicks. Let's spin around using the view cube to the front. And I like this front angled view. And let's make a door by selecting both of the front two logs. And don't use the white handle. Instead, use the black handle to shrink it to where you want your doorway to be. Grab those two sticks and do Control D and use the arrow keys to move them across, worrying only about how far they poke out. You want that to be the same on both sides. And then go to the black handle and adjust the distance between those two sticks so that your door is exactly how you want it. When you've got your doorway looking sweet, I'm gonna take these and move them one nudge over. I like that better. Then grab the entire structure and do control D and then do control up arrow to raise those to the correct height as well. I have now got four levels in almost no time. Let's do control D again and control up arrow to raise those up. Notice I always go one too high and then I go one back down so that I can tell that I've got them set in the perfect location. Delete the top two pieces so that you can fill in what we would call the header. And I'm gonna hold down shift and select both of these so I can drag them in one quick step. Notice that time I accidentally grabbed the white handle so it stretched in two directions. I'm gonna do control Z and make sure I've got that black handle in the middle so that it only goes in one direction. I'm gonna right click orbit so I can get a better look at that so I don't make a mistake like I did a moment ago. Let's spin around to the other side and let's add a window real quick. We're going to use that same trick where we just grab the black handle and shrink it to whatever size we want. And once you've got those pulled in place, notice I hit the white handle again, so we'll use that magic undo button, which is the equalizer when you make a mistake. And now I've got the start of a window. I'm going to just hold down shift and click both those pieces. Give it a control D move it across and when i've got it in the location that's going to be perfect then i can just shrink with the little arrows until it's exactly how i want it this is not quite to the location i like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to 0.5 instead of one and that's all i needed to get that back in line and everything just the way i wanted I'm going to go back to my one millimeter grid because for the most part that's going to be perfect. And I'm going to go add two windows on this side using the exact same technique. Shift click so I've got both of them grabbed. And this one I'm going to go from the middle in. Once again, control D. Use the arrow keys to move that pair out. Control D, and I'm gonna have to go bring those all the way back to the other side. And on this side of my little house, I'm gonna obviously have two windows. Switch to that half again so that those move the way I want. And then I can click on the bricks and get them so they're exactly how I want. Notice I'm drawing a selection arrow that just touches those two pieces. 
that's even faster than shift clicking but you have to have a good look at where you want to grab because if you accidentally touch other parts you'll be stretching everything all willy-nilly let's have a little bit of fun with the roof I want the roof to be a little bit realistic so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press W and I'm gonna click on the edge of the roof and I'm gonna bring out the green roof but I'm not gonna be happy with the green roof because if you remember playing with Lincoln Logs, those roof pieces are red. I'm gonna then shrink this all the way down to two millimeters or 1.5, whichever you pick. I think I'm gonna go with 1.5 and I want my roof to be sideways so the front of my roof is gonna be the little green pieces on the side. So I'm gonna rotate it and I'm staying close to the middle of the shape. That way it uses these long tick marks to get to the spot where I want it. So that I can line this up perfect, I'm gonna make sure I'm on that 0.5 grid. And then I can just stretch it to the exact spot that I want it. If you want an overhang, you can put one in at this time. When you've got yours perfect, do Control D and move its partner across to the exact opposite side. And then the finishing touch is to put the wood planks on this shape. To do that effectively, choose work plane and connect it to the edge. Bring out your box, and when that box drops, you'll know it's at the exact right angle for our roof planks. Start by taking your roof plank and making it 0.5 thick, and then you can shrink it all the way down to size 2, and stretch it across as far as you want. I'm going to use 32, and just like in the real system, I'm going to make it green. I'm going to use the arrow keys to place it. And when you're happy, then you can do the same trick with the duplicate by hitting Control D and then just doing your up arrow to move it to the spot. And this is one of my favorite things. If you don't touch anything else, it memorizes your movement and you can just drop it to the other side just like that. All right, friends, let's put the roof on the other side. We could just repeat those steps, but check this out. If you grab all these pieces and hit hide, it is then easy to draw a rectangle that just touches your roof pieces. You can tell because there are nine of them and nothing else is grabbed. I'm gonna make sure my work plane is back to the bottom. I'm gonna do control D. I'm gonna do control up arrow so my new set is just out of the way a little bit. You'll see that that won't matter in a moment anyhow. And when I do flip, if I hit this flip right here, Boom, I have got the exact roof piece for the rest of the project. If I do show all, it brings back all of my parts. And now I can just use the arrow keys to move that back to the right location. And then I'm going to do control down arrow to drop them to where I want. Make sure you've got your gaps exactly the way you want. I needed two more clicks. And then I'm going to go over, up. Remember, control up is up until I've got it lined up just the way I want. Once again, you could have just redid the steps we did before, but I enjoy that because we get to use the super powerful flip tool. And also master the hide and the show. I'm going to use that hide again real quick so that I can build in my building. So I'm going to just grab these right here and I'm going to hide them so I've got some space. And I'm going to make a bed unbelievably quick by bringing out a cube. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink that critter down. When you hold shift, it shrinks in every direction at once. I'm going to make an awesome little bed by stretching that back so it's a rectangle and turning on the radius so it rounds it out. Get your sizes just the way you want. Pick the thickness you want. And then simply nudge it back into place. And you can start adding the cool accessories that make your house just a little more epic. I'm going to raise it off the ground with that control up arrow. And then I'm going to take this piece and do control D, bring it out. And I'm going to shrink it down a ton so it can be the little legs for my bed. I'm going to make them brown do D to drop them to ground level and then when I put that underneath the bed it actually looks like a bed in almost no time at all 
Control D to make its sister leg. Let's make sure that looks the way I expected it to. Ah, something shrunk. So I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to do Control D on that again. I'm guessing I must have been holding down a key when I clicked that. And I'm going to hold down Shift and select both of those. So see now it says two shapes. And when I do Control D again, I can nudge the twins over to the other side so that my bed has everything it needs to hold it up in the air. Let's add a pillow real quick. Once again, I'm going to use that same red piece. Control D, Control up arrow to raise it up. I'm going to make it a white pillow. And I'm just going to shrink it super fast using these little black handles to get it exactly the way I want it. If I go a few clicks that way and then left, boom. We've got a sweet pillow, and I'm even going to make it a little more rounded by just changing the radius. It is that easy to make an awesome place. Click show all to bring everything back. You can peek at it from the side. You can add fireplaces. You can add all the features you would need outside. All right, friends, once you've gotten here, I think you've learned a ton of awesome skills. I want you to make sure you understand you can go down to the creatures and characters. You can bring in all kinds of people to make this more awesome. Remember, if you click more and more and more, you can get to the little people that we've used before. When you bring in a character, don't forget you can use the super cool shift shrink to make sure they are at the right size and make your cabin absolutely spectacular, including doing all kinds of cool things like this. Check out Camp Mod Tech. Friends, you just keep adding all kinds of cool things as you make yours as incredible as you possibly can. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this project. And if you ever do make something unbelievably awesome, don't forget, you can always hit the collaborate button, generate a new link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget you can also visit HLModTech.com. I've got an awesome page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And at the bottom of the page, there is a built-in messaging tool. You can fill it out with your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe even hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you have a question or comment, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.